everyone. Glad to see you. Here is Fiverr. I'm Daisy again. This time we will show you how to install and operate the app Xbox on the computer to control the switcher Libra One in this video. First, we need to log on our Fiverr official website www.freeword.cn and find the page of Libra One. Then we click the section Download. In this section, you will find the installation software for Mac and Windows separately. Choose the one you need and click to download it. After unzipping the installation file, please click and choose to run it as administrator to install the software by default. After that, the software is installed successfully. Next. Let's see how to connect the switcher Libra or One and the computer in the same name. Generally, there are two ways to connect. One is to connect the computer to the switcher directly. You need to set the IP address of the computer manually and don't choose to obtain it automatically. After that, you also need to set up the IP address on the switcher Libra or One, the same as that on the computer. Then it can connect the computer and the switcher to the same LAN. The other is to connect the computer and the switcher Libra R1 in the same router. You just need to set the IP address on the switcher Libra R1 to connect the switcher and the computer to the same LAN. After finishing the connection successful, just double click to run the software exports. Click to enter video management and it shows it's now on the normal connection. Here you can see the resolution and frame rate of each input signal. Now we connect the switcher to the computer via USB 3.0 cable and then click the M button to select the device capture to be forward USB 3.0 in live streaming. Turn on H265 and then it displays the preview images in six split screens. If you just want to display PGM, you can select the output of USB 3.0 to be PGM. Now let's check how to operate the screen switching. Click to choose the signal source from 1, 2, 3, and 4 and push T bar to switch the signals. Then click M button again to display all the operation menus which not only include all the functions of the switcher Libra or One, such as picture-in-picture, -picture, mix, audio, and it sensor, but also including some additional functions. Next, let's have a look at these additional functions in details. First, the live streaming. We find OBS software here. Click here. You can quickly turn on the OBS software. You need to import the OBS runtime program for the first use. If you forget the parts of the OBS shortcut, you can find it like this. Right click the shortcut icon of OBS, click property, and click here to the file location. Then you find the parts. After the import, just click here to turn on the OBS software directly. Click again to turn off. In text pattern, it contains three options as below. In output, there is USB and HDMI for option. In text pattern, you can find color bar and solid color. When you select in solid color, the three values of red, green, and blue can be set from 0 to 255. Below comes to HDMI out setting. It contains DVI, HDMI, 8-bit, 10-bit, 12-bit for bits option. In color space, you have image and video for choice. After turning on DE, you can adjust these parameters of DE, including horizontal position, vertical position, horizontal size, vertical size, and so on. In password protection, you can set a 4-digital password after you turn on Enable Password. When there are multiple 
switches connected to the same end, it will prevent the misoperation. In LAN port set, you can find the IP address after the menu set. You can also turn on DHCP, the IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway can be automatically configured. For T-bar correction, you can calibrate the T-bar on the switcher. You just need to follow the above steps in sequence. It's simple to operate. So that's all of today's video about the installation and the operation of Xports, the controlling software of the Switcher Libro 1 on the computer. If you have any more questions and want to know more about the Switcher, please leave the messages below or contact us in these ways. Here is favorite today. I'm your heart Lindsay. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.